Hey, what's going on guys? Ryan Knows Tech with techinform.us doing a application review today of a disk speed test uh, utility. I did one before of AJA system test. It was a really easy, really simple application to use. Unfortunately, it does not work in OS Lion on the Mac, so I set out to find another one. This is free. It's in the Mac App Store. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything and uh, you can download it without paying so that's awesome if you open up your Mac App Store or I think it is just uh, yeah it would just be on the Mac App Store and just type in Blackmagic disk speed test what you see up here at the top of the screen type that in you'll find it download it. it's a pretty small file it's only 14 megs go ahead open it up it looks like this go ahead quit that and uh, there's not a whole lot of options here. There are a few options. You have two huge dials, one for your write speed and one for the read speed. It's pretty much going to throw a whole bunch of different formats of video and crap at your drive and see how quickly it'll write. Um, it's actually a pretty comprehensive test. If you uh, click this little cog here, that's your settings, you can change your stress from one, two, three, four, or five gigabytes how much stress you want to put the drive through to test it. You can do a screenshot of your results. Select target drive. This is where you're going to tell the computer which hard drive, solid state drive, flash drive, external drive, network drive you want to test the speed on. So uh, first we're going to do the MacBook Pro hard drive, which is the 500 gigabyte 7200 RPM drive that came in this MacBook Pro. This is the new one, the 2011. By the way, the screen resolution you're looking at is the high-res display on the MacBook Pro. No monitors plugged in. I'm tell I tell you, I love this 1680 by, by uh, 1050 resolution. It's beautiful. Anyhow, uh, so we've just selected that drive from here. It's very easy. Click Start, and you'll see the miserable speeds that that 7200 RPM drive is capable of, uh, of doing. 54 megabytes per second is really pretty slow for a write, and about 54 and a half for read is, is also pretty slow. But uh, I am used to a solid state drive, uh, the OWC Mercury Extreme 3G. Uh, speaking of the SSDs, I am um, planning to upgrade to the 6G Pro, which is mm, more than twice, actually, more than twice the speeds of the current drive I have, which we'll be testing in a minute. So it goes through and it does all these different tests. You can stop the test by hitting the Start button again. And uh, it tests all these different formats. Uh, really, the first one is good enough for me. I see about 53 write and about 54 read. Click that cog, go back to select target drive. Let's try, see if it'll let me do my network drive. It's going to want me to connect. Let's try that network drive. It's going to be very slow. It's a flash drive. It's a SanDisk uh, cruiser, I think, 8 gigs. This is going over 802.11n to my airport extreme. So. Not terrible over for you know four over the network, but that's very slow if you wanted to write files uh, often to it. Let's see if I could get back into settings here, and we'll see what the SSD is capable of doing. Hopefully, it's better than four. Okay, we'll browse over to that SSD. Choose this is real simple to do. Click start. And we'll see it's significantly better. The maximum speed according to OWC is 259, so I'm getting about 10 less than that. Of course, I am using the drive right now to run an operating system and make this screen recording. But the speeds are incredible. And that 6G drive I was talking about from OWC is more than twice that. It's about 550 megs. You could probably get 525 on the every day, which is incredibly quick. So I just wanted to make this quick review of this disk speed test free application. There's not a whole lot of settings here that, that you can change. You can do the screenshot and the stress, start and stop, and I guess you can move it around. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, you've got some help and about and quit. That's the app. Let me know what you guys get. I'm, uh, you know, being a geek, it's always interesting to see what other machines get. Let me know what model Mac or whatever or hard drive you've got and what speeds you got. Um, my other drive, that high-performance Western Digital Scorpio Black that is now in the 13-inch MacBook Pro, which is outgoing. If anybody's interested, I'm looking for around $1,000 for it. Please DM me. Let me know what's going on. Um, but that drive was the same, about 50 megs. So let me know what your guys' drive gets. My external drive, the Lacey 2TB, that gets about 70 megs. 
which is better over FireWire 800, but not as good as it could be. So SSDs are definitely the way to go. Let me know your guys' scroll scores down below. Check out our site, techinform.us. My Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. And I'll talk to you guys probably in Monday's video, seeing that today's Friday. Have an awesome weekend. Bye-bye.